The United States has a lot at stake in the Syrian civil war. President Obama has suggested that American firepower might be needed to prevent the dictatorship from using chemical weapons. We've learned that tomorrow the administration will endorse one of the rebel groups that is now fighting to overthrow Bashir al-Assad. Who are these new American allies? Clarissa Ward found their leader in Brussels. Muaz al-Khatib is the man chosen to lead a newly formed coalition of Syria's opposition groups. What does it mean? to be recognized by the U.S. The U.S. administration has big influence globally, he told us. A step like that would pull the rug from under the regime on all levels, politically, economically and militarily. The Damascus-born cleric has long been an outspoken critic of the Syrian government. He's been jailed several times since the uprising began. In July, he finally fled to Cairo. Now he travels the world, asking for international support for Syria's opposition. Do you feel that the international community has done enough to help Syria? No, at all. The international community fell short in its support to the Syrian people, he said, but it is starting to wake up now. So far, though, the U.S. has refused to arm the rebels because of concerns about the rising role of Islamic extremists in the rebellion. I think the media has exaggerated this whole issue, he said. We've spent quite a bit of time inside Syria. On the ground, we've seen extremists operating. The media has been reporting that there are terrorist and radical groups, he said, but we have not seen concrete evidence to support such claims yet. Would you like to be the president of Syria? Uh, I'm not thinking about that, no. But with rebels closing in on the capital, the question of who takes over from the regime is an urgent one. And Clarissa Ward is joining us from London tonight. Clarissa, these Syrian rebels are fractured into a number of groups, and one of them, the Al Nusra Front, was labeled a terrorist organization by the Obama administration today. What can you tell us about them? Well, Scott, Nusra is one of a number of shadowy, radical Islamist groups operating on the ground. They've actually been welcomed by many Syrians because of uh, their numerous military successes. But the arrival of these types of groups has created a real shift on the ground that we as journalists can even feel. Rebel fighters now asking us, do you work for the CIA? Do you work for Israel? A lot more talk about jihad. And often these voices are drowning out the voices of more moderate activists. Anything can happen in this volatile part of the world. Clarissa, thanks very much. And Egypt remains divided too. Thousands protested tonight, both for and against President Mohamed Morsi. Some tried to scale the walls of the presidential palace. Morsi is insisting on a national vote this Saturday on a new constitution, but opponents say it takes away too many of their rights.